good afternoon everybody. I just wanted to get this quick video uploaded before I went to work today because there's just so much to talk about with certain things and so many different opinions and um, I went through a lot of stuff online, a lot of comment sections, a lot of things and I figured let's talk about a few things. I personally, I stand by my video yesterday a, a, a thousand percent. I am proud that Jeffree Star took the high road and decided not to expose the crap out of James Charles. But the question that the community is raising and the fans are raising is why? Did he really do it because, you know, he realized he was in a dark place? Or did he do it because he realized that he really could not take down James Charles? And to be perfectly honest, I will always give my honest opinion. I think it's a little bit of both. To be extremely honest. I personally think James deserves more. I, I do. I think he deserves more of an apology, more of an explanation, and whether that's in privacy or not, that's fine. You know, whichever way he gets it, whether it's in private or whether it's public or whatever, hopefully in private, but I would like to maybe make public that, um, what Jeffrey had insinuated James Charles was, was completely pulled out of his ass. And that was the most damning of it all. I mean, Toddy's video was very damning, but when Jeffrey Star, you know, called him what he did, that was extremely damning, okay? And without no evidence, no proof, no receipts to back that up, that is a huge statement. That is a John Cookian. I'm sorry, I will say it. I have no problem saying it. Cookian accused Peter Mon years ago um, of being, you know, a pedophile. And Jeffree Star basically did the same to James Charles. Everybody came hardcore for John Cookian when that happened. Oh, did everybody come hardcore. But there's too many people that are afraid to go up against Jeffree Star. Now, something that I did clock in um, James's video, but I didn't mention it in my video, is that James, we all assumed when Killer Merch dropped James Charles that it was Jeffrey that had dropped James. But James is the one that said he severed ties with Killer Merch. So to be perfectly honest, I think James Charles is big enough to give Jeffree Star a run for his money. To be perfectly honest, I think there was a little bit of humility in what, you know, Jeffrey said. I do believe some of it was absolutely genuine and I commend it. I, I'm proud that he decided to end the bullshit. But I also do think that some of it was to save face and he realized that James, it, James is one that can compete and hold his own ground. Um, but I 100% firmly believe that James is owed more of an apology and more of a public statement that says, you are not that. Because that was the most hurtful and damning of the whole situation. It really was. And when I seen Jeffrey's comment section, I want to talk about so many people were like really pissed because he didn't come with receipts. Like if you want to see James Charles fall on his face, you need something better to do with your day. I'm just saying, you know, you literally are mad because you couldn't see someone fall on their face. You need to get something better going on with your life. I'm just saying, I don't want to see anybody fall on their face. I want to see them learn and grow. That's what I want to see. And the people that are mad that Jeffrey didn't expose the crap out of Jeff, out of, um, Sorry, James Charles, do something better. But most of the people, and I want to say 80% of the people, weren't mad that he did not expose James. They were pissed because all of this stuff that he said, all of this pumping you up and, yes, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, and then, er. So most of them are like, you didn't even have the receipts. To be honest, I don't think he did either. I, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think he did. I think he might have had a few receipts to say that <laughs> that James is extremely flamboyant and flirty, you know. And Jeffrey can't call out anybody for being attracted to straight men because that would be, the, you know, pot calling the kettle black, throwing stones at glass windows because, girl, 
hello. <laughs> but um, I just want to say I'm glad this shit is over. I really am. I'm so glad it's over because I could not sit there and, and just continue to watch. It was like watching, you know, WWE or something or WWF or like, you know, mixed martial arts boxing, which I love. I love me some mixed martial arts. But it was kind of like that. It was kind of it was it was horrible. It was really horrible to watch people literally try to tear each other down and just be that person. You know, it's like deep in your heart, do you really think what the hell is wrong with you? You know, especially that Jeffrey is in his 30s. But this is my opinion. And again, I do stand by that. I'm very proud of him. But this is my opinion. And I will state it for the record. I don't care. I mean, I am who I am. But I think Jeffrey got jealous that James was getting so much attention, even though that it was negative. Because we all have to remember, negative attention is attention. It's totally attention. And Jeffrey was like, hey, 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 me, 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 me. He's like that kid waving his hand in the corner. Me, me, me. Yeah, see my little. <laughs> Seriously. But he is like that kid that was waving in the corner. Hey, hey, you're not paying attention to me. Hey, hey, oh, I'm over here. I'm over here. Throw me the ball. Throw me the ball. That was what happened. That is why I believe that Jeffree Star came out, you know, just throwing that ball. He came, he dove in head first. And he needed to make a very blatant statement to get attention. That was the only way, the only way people were going to pay attention to him. Because it was between Tati and James, not Jeffrey. Okay, Gabriel had his two cents in. He did, but nobody was really... It wasn't that deep, you know what I mean? Nobody paid all that attention to Gabby. They paid attention. I did. I paid attention. But they didn't give that holy shit attention. Where Jeffrey got that, oh my God, holy shit attention. He, he, he got that attention. And I think that is exactly why Jeffrey did it. It's because he needed to have the focus on him. And he did not like that somebody else was leading the ball right then and there. And I think Jeffrey owes James more. Out of all of them, out of all of them, I'm glad that he apologized to his brother. I'm glad that he admitted and came forward and said, oh, I thought that tweet was about me when I personally think it was just him trying to snag the attention. I really do. Um, I, I'm glad he did say some things, but I really think James deserves more because there are no receipts. That is not there. And if there is receipts, I don't give a shit. I don't want to see them. Because I am not cool with the game of let's tear somebody apart. I mean, you can go out into the forest and you can be like one of them little tigers or something or rip animals apart if you want to be that, you know, if, if, that's, if that's your thing, you know. But I really firmly believe that James is owed so much more than what he got. And I really would love to see Jeffrey publicly acknowledge that James is not what he claimed he was. Because there is no proof of that, real proof of that. There is no evidence of that. And nobody, nobody stated that. All these boys that came forward, none of them said that he was what he said he was. So... That's what I personally want to see out of this whole debacle, out of this whole crap. And I know a lot of people are going to say Jeffrey was backpedaling, but the community is speaking up. The community is pissed off. And I think Jeffrey Starr has been knocked off his peg, to be perfectly honest. I think he's been knocked down a couple pegs, and maybe he realizes finally that he's not the only one in this industry. He is not untouchable. He is not untouchable touchable and wake up call to Jeffrey he really is not untouchable not anymore at least so James gave him a run for his money and kudos to James because those are some stiff ass allegations that I could never ever see somebody have to go through ever and that's what I wanted to speak up and talk about today but I am so proud that Jeffrey took the high road and didn't try to dig for shit and that wasn't there, really. But no, even if it was, I doubt it. But that's my feelings on it. And I just wanted to bring to everybody's attention what the community is saying, what the comments are going on. 
everybody is really pissed off and not because the you know James Charles wasn't taken down by the king himself no 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 everybody's mad of what Jeffrey said and there and there was no backing for it so I'm glad that the community kind of stuck up in that way you know I, I'm really glad that people are like hey you said you had all this stuff and then all of a sudden you know so I don't know I really hope everybody's having a nice day and I really don't want to talk about much of this anymore um I will throw a little bit of makeup in on this oh, sorry there's glare and it's hard for me to see but I did order the Juvia's Place foundation I cannot wait to get that in the mail and I just had a worry because I'm like I see Nikki Tutorial's video on it and I'm like oh girl I hope it's not like the Morphe fluidity one where it's like, cause I love a super full coverage, but I don't want like a mask on my face, you know? So, oh my goodness. So I can't wait to get that play with it, try it out because I love Juvia's place so much. So I'm definitely going to be doing a few more little makeup and, you know, just get ready with me or some chit chat videos and things like that. And I really am glad that this whole debacle is over, but I wanted to basically come out and say what the community is saying and what I believe James Charles is owed and it's a hell of a lot more than what he got kisses